So this is the July 22nd, 2021 meeting of the Town Administrator Screening Committee. The meeting is being cable cast by Area 58 Community Access Media, Channel 15, and will be posted by Area 58 on YouTube as soon as possible. Please stand for the pledge of allegiance. <coughs> pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America and, and to, to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. So, um, I just kind of want to update people, first of all, on what's some of the things that you may or may not be aware of that have occurred since our last meeting, some of the things we asked that happen. Um, had, have happened. Um, we, I did, um, before I left for vacation, I did, and I sent all of you a copy of an update that I sent to the um, <coughs> chairman of the uh, select board. They did meet on July 12th and um, did as we asked, I think, I, at least my opinion they did, um, and they've issued a new um, charge to the committee, which we will um, go over. Um, I also, um, we had to uh, get it advertised and we agreed the last time that we would. It was uh, posted on the MMA website on July 14th and, um, and we have received um, a handful of resumes so far. We posted it that resumes will come directly to me and that's how it has been. Uh, going so far. Um, <clears throat> I met <clears throat> on Monday with the Human Resources Coordinator to try to get some um, type of guidelines that our own Human Resources Department is following, and, um, generally following anyway. Um, and there's you know, something in your packet um, on that um, from Elaine to me dated um, July 18th. Um, going over some things that she and her and I discussed these um, um, as far as the development of interview questions, how resumes are typically um, handled, and um, some, of, some of the other things there that she has put there. Um, the posting, by the way, is in your packet as well, if you want to take a look at that. Um, and. Um, that uh, there's a link in the posting that um, goes directly to the qualifications as they are, and that's also in your packet, um, the qualifications for the job description that um, determines whether or not, and of course in part of the charge is that we um, must comply with the town administrator bylaw, chapter three. So those qualifications are what would apply when evaluating um, applicants. So I thought that following the resume, uh, the uh, agenda, we go through the select board charge. And as we go through this, I think we'll, I'll pro we'll probably just cover the things that are below it because they all related to that. Uh, so on July 1st, we, we accomplished item one by having a chairman by July 1st. They did <coughs> change the requirement regarding a consultant to the a committee may, you, may use a consultant and may spend up to $16,000 for such purpose and may return to the select board if they need more. So that um, eliminates the mandate that we were unable to fill, fulfill. Um, we have advertised it um, prior to July 23rd. Um, resumes have started to come in. Obviously, we'll be conducting interviews at the appropriate time. It's, uh, it, they, the way they've done the charge on the select board regarding reference and background checks is to be done by the consultant or the to um, town's human resources department. That was one of the things that I discussed as well with the HR coordinator. And she did a little research and she actually has found a um, investigative agency um, that can do background checks for us if for a price within our budget. Um, so um, 
where we haven't actually hired them or anything, but at least uh, that much <coughs> progress has been made. Um, <coughs> and um, we, the number of um, saying we had to give four finalists unranked um, is now, for some reason, changed from four to five, but um, it's up. It's up to now. So there's not a. As far as uh, how I propose to handle the resumes is in accordance, if possible, in accordance with the um, guidelines that human resources normally follows is, and right now we have a controllable number. I don't know how many we're eventually going to get. This will have to change if we start getting a whole lot. But if it's a controllable number, we'll wait as near as we can till the end of the period. It's out there until August 13th, and then we'll everyone will get a copy of the resume and of the resumes we have um, in, in a folder that they can take home and review and look over and ponder and and then we'll have a meeting and the, the meetings at that point will be an executive session and and we'll go from there so um, of course confidentiality is a big thing here um, all every the only no names can be disclosed until except by the Board of Selectmen after we turn over the finalists to them. So it's important that what we do have be information be controlled. And I, I have what I've received so far. I've, Shelby's had, had the pleasure of making nine copies, and we have nine folders with your names on them in a locked cabinet. And, um, and we'll see. We haven't received any for a couple of days. So um, at first I kind of had they came pretty quick, and I was thinking that we might have to start taking this in chunks. But um, right now, we'll just wait and see. When did it go out? The fourteenth. Yeah, or well, last Wednesday. Oh, when it was posted on the fourteenth. This one was posted on Wednesday. Yeah. It's been a week now. Yes. Right. Um, the development of questions is something that we have to do. Interview questions. Um, I have. Um, I haven't really looked at them yet, but I, I did get uh, some um, typical questions from HR that I'll forward to all of you at your email address and ask you to put some request about how to maybe highlight the ones you think are appropriate or add some more if you want or whatever, and then send it back just to me so that it's you can't reply all because then that violates open meeting law. And that it that makes it a meeting, I guess. Um, okay. Any questions about anything? Any discussion about anything? On the interview questions, um, so you're gonna, as you said, you're going to send them out via email. Yeah. We'll look at them. Right. Is there a recommended number of questions that we should whittle that down to? And as you said, we could offer. As I started to prepare, I started to make some questions uh, that we could offer back. And then right. obviously, and we can't reply to everybody. But um, those would be offered back individually to you, and right. then at a pub at a meeting, we could decipher in executive session. Well, I'll try to take what comes back and put together some. Um, and then, and I asked about the number of questions, and I was told it might be between twenty and thirty. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, and the, she, I think I've got over. I think the, like thirty-three questions. I haven't really looked at them, um, and. Um, some of them may or may not be. I think that Elaine said she looked at them, though, and thought that these were all possible questions they have. So you may find it there or, or whatever, but we'll somehow we'll deal with that. I, I have nine pages from Coltman and Page on when we can go in executive sessions, and I haven't figured out whether or not we can do that to figure out questions yet. So um, we'll do it in this way to start with anyway. I haven't full spread it yet. <clears throat> um, to assist with confidentiality, would we be numbering the resumes, if you will, that um, so that if we had discussion, we would be talking about num person number four? I, I'm assuming. <clears throat> I think when we go into executive session, we don't have to do that. Okay. We'll only be talking about um, names and everything within within the executive session where it's not a public. Okay. No. Yeah, okay. I, I wasn't right. sure how. Right, I, I think. Yeah. How that was. I think Everyone here can know everything that sure. everyone knows, but 
only in executive session would we be disclosing that information. Okay. Do we set a deadline for for resumes and applicants? August 13th. August 13th. So one month total? One month um, and two days, exactly. Yep. Okay. That's it, and that's in the posting. Yeah. So <clears throat> do we know how many we have so far? Yeah, about four. Four. Okay. Um, so with respect to the feedback from Elaine, um, one of the things she highlighted here is resume. Like, did she provide context as to what this all means and why this is the case? Like, re specifically, resumes should all be reviewed at the same time by the entire committee, in person or remotely, and then meet, not one by one? I have a problem with that. <clears throat> so theoretically, we, we can't, if we get 40 applicants, we can't look at them until August 13th. No, 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 this is not a demand. Okay. This is not a rule. These are recommendations. And as I said, if we get start getting a lot, we're not going to be able to comply with that. Sure. Even, but I'm thinking, like, even if we get 10, right, I, if we don't, my thought is, is if we have to wait until August 13th, um, you know, that's going to give us a tight window to act very in tight, interview. Very tight, Even yes. if we have 10 applicants we want to interview, it's going to be a very tight window to get all that done. Um, so I was curious as to whether she provided context on why that's the case, why we no, have to No, it's yeah, not. Uh, what we'll do is whatever we decide to do, but I, okay. don't, but I don't think with the number we have right now, there's any problem. And right. once it gets to that point, it will have to will have to take. At first, I thought they came so quick. Sure. First, I thought we, I was going to be giving out packets and we were going to meet next week. And, but I mean, that is going to make it difficult to evaluate. You know, some people almost a month apart. Sure. You know what I mean? I for you, Mr. Chair, um, I'm a hiring manager at my job. I actually currently have two open positions, so I've been spending a lot of time looking at resumes. Mm -hmm. And so. <clears throat> They get forwarded to me every time we get one in. So I started looking at them and I saw one and I was like, oh, this candidate is great. They have a great background. And then I was looking through another pile mm. last night and I was like, oh my gosh, these ones are even better than that one. And so I think the, I ended up having to go back and pull all of them again and look at them all again at the same time just so I could weed out like, okay, these ones really are not like subpar compared to these ones with qualifications and experience. Cause you could see one and think it looks great. And then you see 10 more that are better. So I. I my guess is the context of looking at the same time is because we could see one think it's great and then look at others and think they're great and it's so no matter what I agree with you Adam if there's like 40 applicants to do, we, we would have to start at like nine in the morning and have like a power session um, well, we, I think I think we could <laughs> I think we could like look at them as we are but as we whittle down we're gonna have to go any that we look at early we're gonna have to relook at again I agree comparatively to the newer ones because the new ones are gonna be fresher in our mind and to be able to make a very unbiased and in, in, uh, informed decision mm -hmm. but I think I agree. so I, that just as just in my experience <clears throat> of, of doing this in my real life job that I think is why that recommendation is is because it's just I asked about three different people that are doing this regularly and that was one of the first things they all said mm. it's also perceived to um, eliminate an unconscious bias that might then be related to ask, when you they want you to also make sure you develop questions before you look at the resumes um, yep. you know because otherwise they feel there's a bias that might sneak into the questions you ask Yes, Pat. Typically, what I've seen over the years is you get you get most of your applicants in early on. <coughs> a little surge early on. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll get stragglers, you know, that, that come along. So you know you might have gotten that surge already, and then of course there'll always be ones that are late. I didn't see it. Whatever you know. So um, the other thing would be. Um, Depending on, on how many, what's your thought about should, should we uh, look at a consultant to come in to go through these, like an individual like we talked about before, depending on what the, you know, how many, I mean, you get 50 of them, you know, it would be good to have somebody to I don't think you're going to get anything like that. No, so. no, I, no I, and I hope not. And, but I wasn't expecting it either. Right? Mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a manageable number. I mean, we have a background. We, we have, I mean, these background checks might take a week, yeah. too, and you, and you, 
you know, oh, yeah. you're probably not going to do background checks on people until after you interview them. Or no, maybe right, when you've no. at least decided you're going yeah. to interview them. And um, we we're going to have them sign something. And do uh, a paper screening, and then there'll be an interview screening. And at that time, you're going to come up with some, and, there may, and, and maybe there's going to be more than one interview. You don't know. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe we would want to do that. There's a possibility that when we get late in this process, before we're we, going to have to start early because before, of the tight time. Frame. There's no doubt about it. But I think that we've got to do it, you know, <clears throat> we've got to be more right than timely. And if, if we need to do uh, multiple interviews, Maybe not multiple, but, but but maybe more than one to really to, to narrow this thing down to the strongest candidates. And we should do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think the time was. It's time to wait and see what we get. Oh yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. and um, <clears throat> so far we have a very manageable size. Good. So Good. I don't want to get too far ahead. Either. But, uh, right. Qu question for you. Um, as far as the background checks and hiring a consultant, or however you talked about doing that, um, what, what is the recommended time frame? I, you know, in my opinion, what is the recommended time frame to do a background check in all the things we want to look at? And is that um, in hiring that consultant, we'll call it, or um, do we do that now, or do we get that ball rolling so they're on board, or do we? Is that something you wait more till August? I guess those are all good questions. Um, I said I, uh, I met with Elaine on Monday. We did come up. She came up with something. Uh, she just gave it to me uh, today. Um, a, an agency that does this type of work, yeah. um, and uh, the time frame was that it might take you know several days to to do these. Um, whether we hire them now um, in preparation for that or not, I think we we, we have to go back to them and ask. And, is, and again, I guess through, I would recommend that they've we, kind of made it so that it, it's either going to be human resources or a consultant, the no, way they worded the, the charge here. So, and, and again, I understand that, and and I have, I have faith in either direction the way the committee goes. I think, you know, from an optics point of view, it, it, it we talked about hiring some sort of consultant, and, and I don't know if this is the perfect fit for that, but we definitely want to do the background checks and right. so forth. So. Um, maybe I could recommend in your further questions to ask what is the process in hiring this person or group or company what's the time frame it takes to properly procure them is it simply does this have to go out for three quotes or is it simply just to oh, consult it be all under 10,000 okay that's fine um, and are there any other services they could offer this one particular group that will that you're looking at is there any other services they could offer well I do have point, some stuff they, I could get, I could I do have some stuff here I could I um, would talk with Elaine about how she wants to do that really well I think that the only, we're only gonna, my opinion would be we only do a background check on those that we're going to forward to the board why would you do it on anybody else so we I think the only reason to do it to others that maybe a little earlier in the process is your time. If you do it, if you decide you're going to interview people and then you're going to take a week to get them in and then you wait until after those interviews, it's going to pro might well be, be past September 1st by the time yeah. you get the background check in. But I'm looking at, you know, they, you're, going to, you're going to forward up to five. Probably it's going to be like two or three, maybe four. <coughs> How long does it take somebody to do that? Especially if you if you've made the contact and you semi got these people on board, you just say, you know, okay, just wait to hear from us, and then we're going to give you the go. Mm -hmm. Right. But I think yes. the background checks <coughs> can only be relevant to those that are going to finalists. Yes. Mm -hmm. You could though. I mean, the choices are. Well, you could do more. You could you could have someone sign something authorizing a background check. Yeah. Now. The fact that they've applied yeah. and have it on hand, but people feel like that's a little unnecessary. So maybe you do it before you, you, we're going to invite you in to interview, yeah, that's what I would do. and maybe you do it before the interview to save a week or something like that. Yeah. We we'll do it for the ones that you're going to schedule for an interview. Yeah, and maybe you could have them sign a you know human resource form that we're going maybe, to require. Maybe maybe we contract. maybe we go out maybe we take the last week and start the process so that we're. 
shaving. You know, someone can still turn it in as far as the 13th, but we can start some of this work before that. See how many we get. You know, if you if we that that's really what it amounts to. Mm -hmm. Go anywhere from we have to start doing it next week to you know we can wait to almost the end timing wise. <clears throat> I think. Mr. Further Chairman. discussion on that? Yeah, I guess I got to be the bad guy. That's <laughs> not for the course, right? This is this is July twenty second. Very good. Do we think we're going to stop the time clock if we go out till the thirteenth of August? <clears throat> we have two weeks. They want September first. They want you to jump through hoops by September first. We only have four or five applicants. We're not going to get fifty. We're not going to get ten. We're going to get six if we're lucky with a straggler and I'm willing to bet that every single one of those applicants are going to be a town administrator employed or in some form of government employed now so while background checks may be important they're not vital because as far as as, as making sure I'm looking at some of the notes making sure they actually have a degree well they're probably working so somebody probably already checked that so I, I'm just I'm, I'm confused as to where we're running with consultants and other companies to do background checks and all this stuff, we haven't seen a resume yet. I'd like to see this process get moving so that we have some place that even the week before the end of the time, August 10th, we have an idea. Because you're going to know, I agree with you, by the way, that, and we did it with the finance department with the applications where we had, you know, 17 of them. But what we were able to do is go through them and read out, weed out the absolute no's. Um, right. Like, oh yeah, that's not going to happen. No matter what goes wrong in this process, that is never going to happen. So that made life a whole lot easier. And it brought it down to four or five that you don't have a problem shuffling back and forth and say, okay, well, this guy's better than this guy, but this one isn't as good as this girl. So it, now it's, it's, we've only, we're only dealing with three or four because we knew, and even Elaine did it, we knew the absolute no's yep. that had no qualifications mm -hmm. at all. So if nothing else, it weeds out the, the hopeful thinking, yep. the wishful thinkers that said, yeah, let me throw an application in because you never know, you know. So it, it, it doesn't take any time from the meetings for that. That's something that, you know, we can all do, come back in and say, yeah, applicant whatever is, you know, really? And, and it takes five minutes to, you're right, put that aside. So I just, my concern, and it's a huge concern, as to what's going to happen after September 1st if we don't have it all together because the consultant hasn't finished his job and we don't have the background checks done, and now the selectman is sitting back saying, well, you know, you guys had till September 1st, and now what? It's not like we have the luxury of time on this because we don't. We could... We could blow a whole month just dealing with a consultant, and they all know everybody anyway, dealing with a consultant and then dealing with the consultant going through background checks, and you can't do a background check till you've interviewed somebody. What are you proposing? I think we should look at the, we should look at the resumes that have come in. We should have a meeting sometime the early, the middle part of next week. We should distribute the resumes that we have on our, that have in right now and we should take them home and the following week come back in with the ones that we've decided that's never going to happen and start the process as if we've got what we're going to get. And if one more comes in, wonderful. We can deal with the one that comes in. But to sit and wait until the end of time, until the end of the period, until everything comes in, and now everybody's running around like a chicken with their head cut off trying to, trying to get this done because yeah, no, no one wants that. Okay. two weeks are left. So no one's going to talk about, I mean, I said that when we get into August, if, if we've got any uh, numbers, of to, to, you can start early. I don't know. If, I, I, if you're in favor of starting now, make that a motion. I'm not. Doing, I'm not in favor of starting now. Okay. I think it's, I think well, it's, I'm well, I just, I just know that I really do want to have a reason why we deviate from the way these are normally done. 
and I don't think it's necessary to do now. That's well, I don't think it's because we don't have the luxury of, of, of what they had before, where they had months and months and months to play with this. We don't have that luxury. It, it, so well, make a motion. Well, one in I'm not circumventing the chair. You don't want to do No, it make now. a motion. No, no, it's, I mean. I'm not doing that. One, one thing I would um, sort of caution against, right, is if we're only going to get, let's say we get 10 applicants between now and August 1st. Um, there could be four or five of those applicants that are immediately knows, right? And now we've only got four or five to choose from, mm -hmm. to even consider, to interview, to look at, right? Um, and of those four or five, maybe one or two are qualified, right? We feel that they might be qualified. I, I would say that's not an appropriate applicant pool to make a decision from, if just hypothetically speaking, that wouldn't be an ideal applicant pool to choose from. So I think evaluating resumes in a more expeditious way as they come in um, helps to evaluate whether the method by which we're going about getting applicants is effective or not. Um, I think one of the things that in my discussions with, with Alan during the search for the finance director was that putting it on the MMA website and soliciting resumes through that website was probably not the best and most effective way to solicit resumes. Um, two of the more highly qualified applicants for that position were procured through other means. They weren't procured through the website. So I, I, my concern is, is if we wait and rely on the MMA website to get applicants and come, let's just say, August 2nd, um, we, we have only got, you know, seven or eight applicants and four or five of them are people that right off the bat we're saying no to. Now, now we're stuck with two applicants and le less than a month left. That's well, my concern. Well, you're kind of going back to um, the last meeting when we all voted to, to use the MMA website. Right. And you're, you're, quite, you're really saying, what if it doesn't work that well? Um, that's a good question. And I, and I think it's our best option in the short term. I really we, wanted to, we wanted to you know, use a consultant. Sure. But we couldn't find one of those. I, I agree. And um, so... Um, We're doing what we can. It's just we won't know, you know, we really won't know until August 13th whether we're going to get our next town administrator through the MMA website. Um, maybe there's other publications. Maybe there's other websites, uh, you know, Indeed or what have mm -hmm, you. You know, mm -hmm. when I was in college, it was Monster. So maybe there's other ways. No, I can look. I can. Resumes. I can work. Look. Um, if the if the committee wants, uh, we could. I could work with Elaine to, because um, there has been talk about maybe we should try some other um, sites. Okay. But my position was that's not what this committee voted to do. Sure. All right. Sure. Um, so I didn't feel like, you know. What am I? I'm one out of nine. So I, why should I be deciding? Yeah, we'll do these three too. Um, but if people want to vote to expand it to um, other websites, uh, whether you want to wait a week and see if we think it's necessary, or whether you want, I mean, I think we should give it the two weeks of it being posted, and then make that decision at the end of the two weeks what we have for a resume pool and. If we need to advertise somewhere else and do it, we, that's, that was my suggestion before, was to go two weeks. I think we had to, we did that with the finance director. We did two weeks and then we had to re-advertise for two weeks because while we got a bunch of applications, we literally had two out of 17 that were qualified. So we had to put it back out there again and that got us a couple of more and, and one of those was qualified. So. Yeah, if I may, um, I, I do think Adam brings up a really good point and so I would say that um, while I see the merit of looking at them all at once and I can see the point of the unbiased of you know waiting, I do feel like we should maybe start doing initial perusals to weed out no's. And to Adam's point and or to Pat's point, even like if if we didn't have a good enough applicant pool, we could go back to some of the other consultants that we originally requested to bid, you know, saying now we're just looking to see if you have any candidates. You know, like we could go back to them with a different sort of proposal than that original sheet that we wanted, you know, uh, a whole turkey we dinner with all the fixings. Before. And we could, we could say, you know, we have this job posting. Do you have any potential candidates? You know, and we could, and we could see if they could, um, you know, if the call center or somebody else had an applicant pool that might be interested. So I think having that time to use other resources if we felt we needed it, um, given our tight time frame here, it would be good. So I would probably be in favor of not waiting too long to start at least looking to see what we have. 
to you, Chair. Uh, uh, Tom, what was your what was your plan on scheduling a next meeting? And I asked that time frame. I didn't have one. Okay. Um, I wanted to have this meeting and determine, you know, when the, um, how so, we wanted to proceed from here. I mean, again, listening to the discussion, listening to everyone's opinions, and um, I do agree. I don't want to get stuck to the end here, and all no, of a sudden, right. you, you know, that Absolutely. doesn't help anyone, and that's not the purpose of our committee. So we got to make sure we have qualified candidates by the end. So I do agree with you, and. Um, so I guess what I'm asking is if you were going to schedule a meeting in two weeks, we let this pool keep coming in for two weeks. We don't wait till the full August, you know, let's call it the halfway point. Um, next and, Wednesday would be, yeah, next, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, next Wednesday is two weeks. Okay. Um, yeah, we could. We could. And we, I mean, we schedule a meeting for next Thursday. To, yeah, so, I mean, part of that agenda would be to review the applicants we have and to... Um, you know, make a decision, make a recommendation at that time whether we want to advertise in a different direction based on the pool we have. Um, you know, and they could obviously you could decide to um, review some of those applicants and call the ones that are that. But I think that my purpose of that be to make sure um, we, if we need to advertise somewhere else, at least we would know that. You know, that that's more You're important to, to me than to actually get night. rid of any candidates that are qualified. But that can happen quick. I mean, you're going to find that out real quick anyways. So that doesn't take a lot of time. But I think it's important to know if we're heading in the right direction or not. So somebody has to look at the resumes and say, hey, we're either heading in the right direction or we're not. And I probably think that should be done as a committee. Um, so you're making a motion, um, would you please? I'm not good at motions, about, Mr. Chairman. About we, <laughs> well, really, I mean, we yeah, do. I mean, how about Wednesday instead of Thursday? Wednesday oh, about Wednesday is not a motion. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking if everybody could do Wednesday. How about I, I, I will make a motion that we schedule. And what are we going to do Wednesday? Is that was what I wanted. Go the over motion. the resumes and make the decision whether we're going to so continue to I'm, advertise. That's what I'm trying. Okay, so let's. So let's get the date in first. Let's, so well, let's let him make the motion to schedule the meeting, and then we'll decide the date. You, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so I'll make a motion at our next meeting to be determined uh, by the by the committee that an agenda item will be to review the current applicants that have submitted uh, applications with the committee making a recommendation if future advertisements shall be made. And that certainly would take any amendments to that motion. Well, that would have to go into executive session if we're going to review the... Yes, yes. that's right. That right. Yes, that's right. Yes. So we could do that and then either re not reconvene in, in public session or just reconvene for the... I would ask that that be done in executive session. I'll second that. Well, it has to be done in executive session, yeah. So the motion, uh, Shelby, what, why don't you read us the motion? I can't repeat it. <laughs> uh -oh. As the one who has to put All it right. in the minutes. <laughs> All right, Weston made a motion at the next meeting that the agenda item be to review current applications that have submitted applications with the committee making future... Decisions. The ending. Decisions regarding further postings, I guess. Is that it, correct? With, with the committee making a recommendation on whether further postings are needed. Okay. And that will be, an, we'll have to do an executive session on that also. So you have to put that up at the, the head that we go into executive session okay. because of MGL, blah, blah, blah. Right. I, I would always ju just ask that applications will be reviewed, at, submitted applications will be reviewed at that time. By the committee. Okay. I have a second. I did. Discussion. Further discussion. <clears throat> just, just a question. So that that would mean that we would we would come to a meeting, go an executive session, for the first time receive these. Is that correct? Right. We would open in open in uh, regular session, then go into executive session, and then as as a group. Go right. over each one. That's, I believe, what Craig is proposing, yes. Okay. Couldn't we get these in advance? Yes. Then we'd have a chance to look them over the weekend or something like that. That'd be great. Sure. I need to. I think that might... Uh, and I'm not trying to... I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get it to you. Um, did maybe, they come to you maybe via we, email or maybe they mailed we, you? Well, I've got them, but they're downstairs, and maybe we could put them in. Uh, maybe we could leave the folders, people's folders, in the selectman's office, maybe we could and all people can come and pick the them up. 
Okay. People can come and pick them up. Could we pick them up on the way out tonight? Yeah, they have to make copies and stuff. Well, you gotta, you gotta yeah. More. yeah. Why don't you tell us, Tom, when when that would they can be picked up? Anytime after tomorrow morning. Some in the selectman's office. Some certain time. No, we'll just we'll just leave the folders there. I'll trust Shelby to uh, keep them secure. They don't. They're not. They're not going to like this. I know they're not, um, because they're trying to keep it out of the selectmen. Yeah, I, so I'm, I'm not liking that either. Um, Who's they? I think they. I think the um, town administrator, the HR, to the extent possible, they'd like to stay out of this process for obvious reasons. Okay. Um, but. Um, I guess would it be wise to just so no one is missing any information all of a sudden you pick up your packet tomorrow and I don't pick up mine till well, Friday that's the and there's thing. something else in there that you don't have do we just set a date of you know well, what, every, I mean, um, next we Monday or something pick, we can pick them up in emergency management uh, you can you know, pick them like on a certain day I just think I, you right. um, pick a day so if we're gonna well first of all let's determine I haven't heard of, I haven't heard a motion of when we're gonna meet look yeah maybe we vote on this motion and then we vote on a next on a meeting date and then well, we can set that time frame. Right. Well, well, we've already voted on Craig. Yeah, no. no, we haven't yet. Okay. We, we haven't Any voted. further discussion on that before we go off track? <laughs> um, okay. Um, all those in favor of Craig's motion? Aye. 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 Okay, very good. It's unanimous. And um, now someone want to make, wanna a, make motion. a motion as when we're going to meet. How about Wednesday, July 28th? And whatever time is good for the group five six whatever guys whatever works seven I should be, I I'm, or it could be thursday i mean there doesn't need a motion this is just you know throwing it out there what's good for everybody wednesday's fine with me five o'clock work i, like I can't five. be here till six on wednesday <clears throat> mary i can do six um, um, shelby <laughs> How about six set? on Wednesday? Six on Wednesday the 28th. You, can you be here? I can, as of right now, yep. I have no conflicts. Six on Wednesday the 28th? Yep. Okay. All right, so that'll be the next meeting. Okay. And um, now you can determine when you want to pick up. To, to pick up. Tuesday morning, they'll, they'll be available. That sounds good. That yeah. way we can, that way we've at least waited through then. Right. Yep. Instead of, you know, I mean, you start giving them out and then you're going to be running around and put, there's another one came right. in. Might get three right. going to get Monday, stuck right. and ridiculous. Yeah. Totally agree. I think that's great. Yeah. So anytime so, after Tuesday, anytime after Tuesday morning. And where so I'll, be in, I'll be in there at 7 a.m. Emergency a. management. All right. And I'll be yeah. there till 12. Downstairs. 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 This side. Yep. Your office time? Yep. There's a, yep. There's Down to emergency doorway. management. The Opposite the old seven. police station. Okay. Affirmative. It goes down. Yep. That door will be open. You can just walk downstairs, and Tom's office is down there on the right. Oh, okay. All right. So we'll pick him up from Tom's office next Tuesday. And that's just so. You, and that's anywhere from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. Just so you guys understand. Well, he's there at 5:30, so you can stop in. You know. All right, Tom. Is that what you? Yes, that's right. 7 to 12, uh, 7:27, <clears throat> and that way I'll make sure that all the folders have everything in them that we've received to date. And we can swing by the house after, right? She can. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Beverages would be available. There you go. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> all right. That's um, okay. So, all right. Have we covered everything on the agenda? Pretty much. All right. Um, except for the minutes. Okay. And you should have in your packet the minutes of... The July 6th, 7 p.m. <clears throat> meeting. On page three, um, I just want to clarify uh, there's two different motions. There was motion to approve the minutes and then a motion to adjourn, and then it says voted eight and oh unanimously. I believe both of those were voted unanimously, so I just wanted to. Okay. Yeah, right, right, right. Because it, it looks like there may be one. Vote. I don't. No. Okay. So you have a, you made a motion to approve to accept the minutes as written with that amendment with that change. Yes, I'll make a motion to accept the minutes for the meeting on July sixth, with the one change on page three to add the unanimous vote on the motion to approve the previous set of minutes. Second. 
Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Hear a motion to adjourn? Um, excuse me, Mr. Did we Chairman. miss one? I, I think that, um, no disrespect, Walter, but I think you'd need to abstain because you were not here at oh. that meeting. So this that's, would have to be a motion yes. that's seven, seven? Seven. Seven zero one. Right. I do have a question, though. Um, on some of the recommendations was that we should generate questions prior to looking at the resumes. Well, we're, we're probably not going to be able to do that because of, um, I mean, yes, the recommendations are that you do that. And I'll probably get something out uh, tomorrow or Monday for people to look at, but they're not probably, we're not going to have the questions flushed out and determined by next Wednesday when we sit down and start reviewing. Right. So that that is a way we're going out of the norm for right. this. Is it possible on next week's agenda that when we open in regular session, we review the questions first before we go into executive? We do that in I public. don't know. I don't know. Um, we don't want to review the questions in open session. Oh, right. 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 All right. Yeah, that's what I was but I haven't found in the nine pages from K and P if you can <laughs> if you can do it in executive session. Hey Tom, if nobody said it, I, I appreciate all the legwork you're doing for us on this Reviewing committee. The questions in executive session may not be allowed. <laughs> What's that? I would think it would have to be. Well, there are. There what are what are did you well, say? The, you, you do the questions for the interview can be in open session because they're not specific. Yeah, but then you're asking yeah, whether someone then, has then everybody can experience. But then, then the candidates the could meetings. know in advance they know what they're going to be asked. Right. They're not. Well, this is true. Yeah, I mean, yeah. in a perfect world, we'd have data from Star Trek doing this whole thing, and it'd be, you know. I just think it's. it's I'll send you something tomorrow morning. If you get it back to me tomorrow afternoon, we'll have something done by Tuesday, but or or Monday anyway. Get me back by Monday, and you know, just look at these are samples that yeah. that uh, Human Resources has produced that are appropriate for this type of thing. She's got like 33 of them. So pick ones you think are appropriate or I don't, I haven't looked at them, I've read them yet, so I don't know. Uh, I, I think that process just might take a little longer than get it done by next Wednesday. I, I agree. And I don't think we should start trying to cram everything in because of the idea that we're afraid we're not gonna get enough candidates so we want to start evaluating them earlier than um, is normal to do so. I don't want to start the whole process to go. Yeah, I, I think we, we've agreed to start the process of reviewing stuff. So right, I mean, and that, if, we don't, have the, if we don't have the questions, questions done by then, we don't have the questions. Exactly. That, that's you, yeah. you don't need the questions until we start. And we can't eating. move everything up and then you know keep everything else in line. Yeah. yeah. I just want to reiterate a point in saying you know, it's, it's better to be right than be timely. And if We've got a, you know, uh, some, some deadlines here, particularly like the September 1st deadline with the, with the board. I mean, if we don't feel we're ready, then we're just telling them it's going to be a few more days. I mean, that's, that's my thought anyway. So I think that we shouldn't be driven by the time frame. We should be driven by the product. I agree. I agree. No. Um, I also, if you don't mind, Mr. Chair, just before we adjourn, I wanted to at least make you aware of the fact that I will be away the first week in August. I leave on the 4th, 3rd or 4th, and I get back on the 11th. Unacceptable, so. unless you're going somewhere really great. <laughs> well, I think it's great. But, um, so I'll be away Hopefully for Hopefully you'll have better I just luck than you, I had last week down Chatham. Well, I just wanted you aware of it. So I just so you know, it's not. I do not expect the board to pause what they're doing because I'm going to be away. I just... I, just want everybody to know. That's all. Was it the third to what? Third to the eleventh, I believe. Well, it's so like going, a Tuesday to Wednesday. The second week. Which would be the well, this even, is, but that's even better that we're meeting next week then. Seventh to the fourteenth, I'll be gone. Check so. that out then. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, gonna <laughs> count, I'm just going to count <laughs> when it's time to do meetings, and if we can get five, we have a meeting. That's right. Yeah, we can do. It's all, we, it's all we can. That's, do. that's all we can do. Yeah, that's and it. I, like I said, I just wanted you aware. That's all for that reason. I know it's summer and people are busy. That's, that's and, and I think you know if we're if we're meeting executive session to review 
you know, resumes or whatever and someone's away but can join via Zoom or something, I think we're still allowed to do that as long as we have an in-person quorum, so. Yeah, that's my understanding. you can actually do a Zoom quorum now because they were, they rolled that all back. Oh, they extended it? And oh, one, okay. question, one question I had. Yep. Zoom will meet the quorum count. Yeah, one question I had was, would it be possible to record executive session for the purpose of the committee? I don't know if that's something that can be done or not, but I don't think so. I don't think you don't. I don't, think so, don't record I don't any know. executive session. No. I don't. I know it's not standard, but type of thing where like. Why if would you do that? So that somebody who can't physically be present would be able to review what's discussed in executive session after the fact. Even well, like resume, I mean, uh, interviews, for instance, right? If somebody's interviewed and you want to review the interview after the fact, but you can't make the interview. Um, well, you definitely can't record an interview unless you no. get the person's consent. No, you, you can't. That's a that's a that's a disaster looking for a place to happen. Yeah. I, I I don't think anyone that I don't I think KP law would be all over that. Okay. I don't think I think the minutes are supposed to be the record of executive. Yeah. Um, yeah. When sessions. Yeah. If they're ever released. Well, <laughs> when we get them. We released. get them. We just vote on whether we're going to release them. Or not. So we get them right away. And mm -hmm. I would think something of this nature probably would not. Happen. All right. Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. All those in favor of adjourning? Aye. 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 Very good. Thank you. Adjourned.